Well, good morning. Welcome to Shepherd Drive Baptist Church. We're so glad that you've been able to join us for virtual church or for what some people are calling it church, but not as we know it. Can we encourage you to use the playlist that we've put together uh, for the services on Sunday mornings? Uh, that will take you through uh, the introduction, the songs, the prayers, and also the message and talk uh, that we're looking at this morning. You can access that uh, via the Shepherd Drive Baptist Church YouTube channel, or simply by going onto our homepage on our church website and clicking on the link there that will do uh, all the hard work for you. As a church family here, we are a mix of people uh, from all different backgrounds and countries and situations, but we are united by what we believe to be most important, and that is knowing Jesus personally and living for him. And as a church family, our aim is to share the word of God and the love of God and to introduce people to Jesus. So great to have you with us. We hope you'll enjoy uh, our morning service today and we hope you'll use the time to look at our website as well and find out more about us as a church family here and more about Jesus. And we really do mean what we say on our sign uh, just on the front of the church, that everybody is welcome. So do come and join us now. Well, good morning, welcome. It's great to have you with us today. My name is Simon. I'm going to be leading our time together this morning. If you're here for the first time, let me encourage you to have a good look at our website and the various pages uh, of that so you can get to know us, you can see who we are, uh, what our aims are as a church, and also what we believe. And as a starting point, can we encourage you to have a look at the section of our website which is headed up Christianity, uh, what's it all about, uh, where you'll find a number of helpful videos and other resources to help you find out more about who Jesus is. Uh, why Jesus came and why that matters so much. And if you'd like to join the uh, virtual Christianity Explored course that we're planning to run uh, very soon by Zoom, uh, then please contact us either by phone or, be, or by sending uh, one of the contact forms on our website and we'll be very happy uh, to include you. In the unstable and changing situation that we find ourselves in week by week where so much of our lives feels as though they've been turned upside down. God's word reassures us with these great words in Hebrews chapter 13, where we read, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Well, let's allow the reality of those words to reassure us, to steady us as we approach the week ahead and all that that brings. And let's continue to put our trust in Jesus, in the one who never changes, whose character will always be the same, and who will always be faithful to his people and to his promises. Uh, let me share with you a few notices about the week ahead. Uh, we have our virtual Digging Deeper groups restarting this week. Those are on Tuesday night and Wednesday evening. If you're not part of one of those and you'd like to be, uh, do get in contact with us and we'd love to uh, have you join with us. Uh, then we meet again like this next Sunday, so I hope you'll join us uh, for that. Uh, and again, by the time we broadcast uh, our service this morning, children's resources and JCB worksheets should be available by email to accompany our service, and uh, uh, you should receive those. And if you're not currently on the circulation list uh, for those resources, but you'd like to be, then again, please do contact us, and we'll be very happy to include you in that. And also, just to let you know that next Sunday evening, we're going to be running uh, a prayer meeting by Zoom. Uh, there is so much to pray about at present, uh, and we're going to look to meet together uh, by restarting our Sunday evening prayer meetings uh, each month next Sunday evening, and I do hope you'll be able to join us for that. And we're going to take the opportunity to pray now, so let's come to prayer. Father, in a world where so much of our lives and our world has been unhinged and changed, we do thank you for the truth that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We thank you that we can rely on that, that we can put our trust in that reality, that we can approach at the end of each day and the beginning of each day in the certainty and the security of that promise. Father, we thank you that your love for us will never change, 
that your care for us will never change. Father, we thank you that you will always value us, even if the world thinks that we don't have much value and that we're unimportant. Father, we thank you that you will always listen to us as we bring our prayers to you, even if there are many situations where we are not heard. We thank you that you will always be true to your word and that you will always deliver on your promises. We thank you that there is no spin or fake news in your word that we need to worry about and that instead we can know the rock-solid reality of your absolute faithfulness. And Father, in the light of that faithfulness, we come before you now and we very naturally uh, pray for our nation once more. We pray again for those in power and places of authority who make decisions and policies. Uh, Father, can we ask that you would give them, please, continued wisdom, uh, particularly when it comes to how and when uh, the lockdown should be relaxed. And Father, for ourselves and across the country, we pray for patience and wisdom as we wait for this. May we conduct ourselves in the right way and in a helpful way. And Father, of course, we also want to pray for those who serve on the front line of our incredible health service. We ask, please, that there would be a quick solution to the shortage of equipment that the NHS is facing. And we again pray for all those who work in the NHS for their protection and for their health. We pray, too, for their mental health, that you will preserve them uh, and help them as they face situations that we would not rush towards ourselves. And Father, we also want to pray for those who are currently working on a vaccine. And we pray that there will, in the days ahead, be great strides forward and real progress in producing a vaccine that can be used to protect the population. Our Father, we also want to pray especially for those who mourn and grieve at this time. And our hearts go out to those who have lost loved ones, and to those who perhaps lost a a number of loved ones as the virus continues to have such a devastating impact. Father, will you please bring your help and your comfort into those situations? And we pray too for those who are experiencing difficulty and hardship, those who are struggling with loneliness and those who live with anxiety, those who look ahead with uncertainty and fear. And Father, we pray that they may turn to you and that in this difficult period they may come to discover the peace and the provision that you promised to give. And Father, for ourselves, as we shortly come to look into your word, which still speaks so relevantly into our situation today, would you please speak into our hearts and our minds? Would you remove our pride? Would you humble our hearts and work in our wills so that we may respond to you and to your word as we should and as you call us to. And we ask these things in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, Debbie has again chosen some songs for our time this morning, which uh, tie in so well with the message that we're going to be looking at Uh, from God's Word together. Uh, We're going to play videos of two of those songs now. Firstly, The Splendor of the King, and then second, To Him Be the Glory. Two uh, great songs that glorify and praise the great God we come to worship this morning uh, that help us to remember His greatness, His power, uh, His majesty, but also His great love for us expressed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, So let me encourage you to sing along at home, and if you're watching this on the Sunday playlist, then at the end of this video, it should automatically take you to the two songs uh, that we've chosen for you to listen to and sing along to. And then Alan and Lynn, two of our uh, church members here at Shepherd Drive, will be reading the part of the Bible that we're going to be looking at this morning, and then we'll come to look at that in detail together. So let's sing together wherever we are. And then we'll come to look at God's word and see its message for us here and now. 